You are watching Chasing History, brought to you by Smoky Mountain Relic Room and American Digger Magazine, and we are out in the middle of nowhere in the Badlands of Arizona, back with Eamon Yeager. How's it going, Eamon, Chase? Thanks for having us out in the oh, middle anytime. of the night. Absolutely. In the scary freaking Badlands <laughs> of Arizona. It's really desolate out here. Yeah, <laughs> look at that petrified wood. We, ju we showed you guys an episode of Eamon and I digging up petrified wood. If you haven't seen that episode, go back a couple episodes, check that out. This is the same place digging the same kind of wood. What what period are we in right now? So here we're in the Triassic Chinle. It's in northeast Arizona. It's about 220 million years old. So it's significantly old petrified wood. It's actually older than the dinosaurs, as we mentioned in your episode before. So pre-dinosaur so, stuff. Yep, yep, pre-dinosaur. So, all pre-dinosaur. So how did this wood get here? So this wood is the result of you know a tree falling down into a swamp, getting buried pretty rapidly in a sediment, and then after the fossilization process goes into place it starts with the permineralization process it's a secondary process oh, okay and so yeah so it just takes rapid burial in a swamp sort of sediment basically that's so, nuts yeah. now uh, there's crystals in these wood that's really freaking cool let me borrow one of those flashlights guys i don't know if you guys can see it in the camera but see how these how these wood pieces have crystals on them so this wood is crystallized what is it that makes this wood have crystals. So the crystals in the petrified wood <laughs> is the result of fungal replacement. Okay. So this tree had fungus running all through the different layers in it. And as that tree dies, you know, it falls over and the, the fungus loses its, you know, living host, I guess you could say. So all that fungus is replaced with the dirt and the sediment, then, you know, eventually over millions and millions of years, you trigger a little bit of seismic activity, some heat, and the crystals all start to grow inside of that tree. So the crystals are evidence of a fungal growth. Yeah, it's kind of a fossil within a fossil. That's so, cool! Yeah, when, when we polish this wood out and you cut it, you know, lengthwise going all, or widthwise going through, you can actually see little fungal spore pockets. And sometimes the preservation is so well, it's down to the cell structure in the fungus. So if you look at it with a magnified eye loop, I mean, you can see the literal cell structure in the wood and sometimes the fungus too. That's so awesome. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> All right. So here's why we brought you guys back out here. And this is why we're out here in the middle of the night is because after we filmed that episode with Eamon and the wood, I went home and I got out my low frequency shortwave UV light. Now, you, there's, so UV light, this stuff, this isn't like your regular store-bought UV. So UV light is different levels of the light spectrum. So there is a short wave and long wave UV. And I got out my short wave and hit the wood and it glowed great. <laughs> it was amazing. And what it is, is that's light reacting on the atomic level with the atoms that are in this wood. And we wanted to bring you guys out here and show you this because it's so freaking cool. All right, you get that light, I get Absolutely. the light. All right, guys, go ahead and hit the lights. And look at this wood sink. Now, see the oranges? Or hold that light, too. Look at that. 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 It glows. Shine it down that way. Now this is not an effect uh, done in studio afterwards. This is not the light causing that color. This is the U the shortwave UV reacting with this Triassic wood. And see the black light? You can see it on my on my shirt. Oh, what's that? No, <laughs> you see it reacting on my shirt. We're using UV. Hand me a flashlight real quick. All right. So we're gonna cut the flashlight on. And just go ahead and leave those on. So here's the wood. All right. So good old awesome petrified wood. And a flashlight that does a billion things. And then there is the sh shortwave UV. Is that not freaking awesome? Look at that. How freaking cool is that? And it glows all the way up to the end. You really need to get cameras that show this really well. But I think you guys get the point. Anyway, so going out and hunting things, there is a group of, um, there's a great group of fossil mineral collectors that collect uh, fluorescent minerals. And if that's something you guys have never heard of, you definitely need to go check it out. All right, I'm going to hand the camera back. All right, cut our flashlights back on, bring us back to life. 
<laughs> <laughs> so if you've never heard of hunting for fluorescent minerals, get online and Google fluorescent minerals because under the short wave and long wave UV, these miner minerals, rocks <laughs> that have one color will totally show up in another color. And things like a dinosaur bone out of the uh, Morrison formation glow these red and greens. This wood glows this orange color. I mean, it's a whole awesome new part of mineral and fossil hunting that you never thought again. And when we saw this, we wanted to share this awesomeness with this you. Is, this is just and amazing. And with Amos. Yeah, absolutely. This is just amazing. I can't believe you stumbled upon this. I had absolutely no idea that the wood out here reacted under UV. So is this, that freaking yeah, cool? Yeah, this, this is just, this is really fossil hunting in the 21st century. So yeah, it really <laughs> is, so cool. man. Yeah. So anyway, thanks guys for checking out, uh, for watching us. We've got a lot more episodes coming up soon. So just stay tuned. we got a lot of great episodes with Eamon. You can go back in our log, check out those great episodes. And we've got a lot more stuff coming. We are chasing history. This is the educational arm of the Smoky Mountain Relic Room, trying to get the out doors and the awesomeness of this planet to you so that you will get out of, off of that, that couch and out of YouTube and get out and go find this stuff. So, Eamon, thank you so much oh, for having us you, back, Chase. man. Appreciate you, man. Absolutely. Surely appreciate Anytime. it, dude. Anytime. Remember, guys, history rocks. Woohoo! We will never, ever, ever be on Twitter because Twitter's evil. That's what, what's your Twitter handle? I don't have a Twitter. I don't know what that is. What? See? <laughs> exactly. This is why we don't do Twitter. Twitter sucks. <laughs>